Thank you very much for coming to VentCon 2020 and Open Source Ventilator Conference. The theme of this conference is towards cooperation in the pandemic mid-game. This is hosted by Public Invention, Helpful Engineering, and Make Magazine, uh, with special thanks to BP, Avinash, and Enrique for helping us out in hosting this conference. Uh, Public Invention is a, a US charity. It's a 501c3 charity. Uh, Tim, is Helpful Engineering a, a 501c3 yet? I think you've applied for it, maybe. Um, the reason we're here is that the pandemic has killed 328,000 people worldwide as of this morning. Thousands of people right now are trying to save lives by preventing a shortfall of invasive and non-invasive ventilators. This conference is to support and bring us together as a community to save lives. The mechanism we are specifically exploring is building open source ventilators, which may lead to longer term development. COVID-19 is a great creator of chaos and confusion. I hope you guys will be patient with us if we uh, make some mistakes in running this conference. Um, we have a code of conduct. You can find it on the public invention uh, website page for this. If uh, someone misbehaves, please contact Deepti Sharma at that email address. Um, additionally, we have Slack channels at Helpful Engineering. We have quite a few topical Slack channels set up, which begin with the prefix Sharp VentCon 2020. Uh, we recommend that you join that and try to talk amongst yourselves. Um, one of the nice things about a conference is getting to meet people interested in the same thing you're interested in. Uh, if, if it weren't for you guys participating, we could have just made this a series of lectures, but it, it's better to create um, a sense of teamwork by having people work together. So we hope there'll be a lot of conversations created in Slack and people will maybe meet people uh, they didn't know before this um, conference. So um, I'm going to be keeping time uh, pretty strictly so that people can leave and come back for a session if they want to see a particular session. Um, however, um, we hope that you'll stay for the whole conference. We've got a really killer um, set of speakers that I think you'll enjoy. Um, uh, we hope to produce videos uh, that will be edited after the fact for this. Um, in the unlikely event that we get more people than can fit in this webinar, which seems unlikely at the moment, uh, we do have it live streamed at YouTube. So the program uh, for, for your planning purposes for the next three and a half hours is this introduction, which we're in the middle of right now. Um, and then we're going to talk about the landscape of the ventilator problem and modularization. And that's going to be uh, Tim Arts, uh, who is uh, with Helpful Engineering and myself. And then we, we're going to have, we should have plenty of time for questions. Um, it depends, we have a lot of speakers packed in to this three and a half hours. We may sometimes have time for questions, sometimes we may not. Uh, but please submit as many questions as you want. And it's my job to kind of manage giving those to the people. I'll be moderating throughout most of the day. So uh, 7.15, the talk will be a uh, kind of an engineering talk about the modularization of the ventilator problem and the history of the ventilator problem as Tim and I understand it. Then at 7.45, we have Professor Michelle Malentin and Dr. Eric Schultz, uh, who will be talking about the um, uh, clinical issues and the treatment of the disease and the disease function, uh, which should be a very valuable talk. At 8.15, we have uh, several five-minute lightning talks from philanthropists and foundations which have funded um, initial work on open source ventilators, including the Mozilla Open Source Support Foundation and um, uh, Protocol Labs as well as the US government, NIST, and the US Army uh, Materiel Command. At 8.45, uh, we're gonna have a talk by two uh, entrepreneurs who can talk about um, kind of angel funding and venture capitalism, for-profit approaches to this, uh, Dr. Sarah Benson-Conforti and Nari, 
Narayan Sundararajan, uh, who, by the way, has written a book about working in the third world uh, on this. At 9.10, we're going to squeeze in a very important speaker, Michelle Lott, who's going to talk about FDA authorization. Um, uh, she has uh, some other things to do today. Um, and then one of the most interesting talks will occur at 9.15, where we talk specifically about the situation in the developing world. So we'll be hearing from Marcos Mendez from Brazil and Sao Paulo, Karina Malul from Kenya, and Rebecca Alcott from EWB USA, which has done a lot of work in Guatemala. And then finally, we will close the show with two talks that um, I think we'll be talking more about how we can do things long-term in the future. Uh, Karen Sandler, who's the executive director of the Free Software Conservancy, will be talking at 9.45. And then Dale Doherty, who has written extensively about what he calls Plan C, which is the civic and maker community response to the pandemic, uh, will be talking. And then DP and I will finish up with some uh, action items and closing 